Greetings. This is Honolulu Blue from HB Cruising. I recently disembarked a journey's cruise on the Carnival Dream. It sailed from Galveston all the way to Panama with several stops on the way. I would like to give 23 of the reasons that I enjoyed it so much as a solo traveler. 1. I like the way Carnival packages their longer journeys cruises. They feature more in exotic ports, expanded menus, and more items that I'll discuss later. 2. I liked the side room of the MDR. If they promised to put me here whenever I asked, I'd dine there more often. 3. Beating the weather to arrive two days early. I was able to beat some nasty weather to arrive extra early in Houston. I recommend doing so if you can spare the time. 4. The lock into nearest IH had everything I could have wanted, continental breakfast, free shuttle to the airport, some decent food options nearby, a room that wasn't terrible, and an okay price. 5. All of the excursions I picked were good. I went to Montego Bay, Panama City, and some of the more rural parts of Costa Rica. 6. The food I had mostly met my standards and sometimes exceeded it. I confess that I'm not a foodie. I dined at the buffet, guys, blue iguana, and once in the MDR. 7. I enjoyed the local food I sampled, jerk chicken in Montego Bay, cacao nibs and starfruit in Costa Rica. 8. Billy and Elton Trivia was kind to me, and a pair of generous cruisers were even kinder. I finished second to them, but they allowed me to take home a trophy since they had won so many on the cruise already. 9. I liked the medallion that I won elsewhere on this cruise. 10. 80s pop to the max was an enjoyable show with music from the best decade ever. 11. The horse races I saw are hard to explain but were lots of fun to watch. 12. We had a lot of comedy on board. 8 different comedians and over 20 different shows in different locations at different times. I didn't attend, but I heard others were amused by them. 13. There is a secret dining area on Dream Class ships that is near the stern of the ship but a deck above that's accessible by one hard to find staircase. I found it a lifesaver on busy mornings in the buffet. 14. I found sports betting on the app in the kiosk to be very easy. 15. I liked our cruise director Tyler Meehan. He is now my favorite current Carnival CD, though not by a lot over any of the others. 16. I bought a map of our journey at Pixels, the onboard Photoshop. This map made it easy to follow along and to tell you where I went. 17. I ordered room service twice and both times the tasty food got to my cabin quickly. 18. I liked the lack of ad flyers. 19. I liked that paper newsletters were delivered to us most days. 20. The wave morning shows were a daily highlight when they were offered. This was part of the reason I liked Tyler so much. 21. I liked the casino wizard blackjack machines they had here. It let me win and rack up points. 22. The other kiosk near the cashier that broke bills and cashed out casino balances was also a nice touch. And 23. The laundry service was nicely done. My clothes were always returned to me well cleaned and in a timely fashion. In my video next week, I'll discuss the relatively few things that weren't so good on this cruise. Please watch out for that. Until then, bon voyage and safe travels. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel because YouTube likes that sort of thing.